Good evening, and here's our top story. A massive 8.9 earthquake hit Japan on Friday. The quake is the most destructive event to hit Japan since Yoko Ono. <laughs> Newt Gingrich told the Christian Broadcasting Network Monday that he was driven to commit adultery because of the great passion he feels for America. However, after 10 years of being in love with America, he'll just go and screw another country. <laughs> <laughs> On Thursday, Republicans in Wisconsin passed a controversial law stripping public unions of collective bargaining rights by using a backdoor procedural maneuver. This thus confirming once again Republicans' obsession with going through the back door. <laughs> In response to a vote Friday by NFL players to decertify their union, owners locked players out, putting the 2011 season in jeopardy, commented League Commissioner Roger Goodell. It's unfortunate that there may not be a 2011 NFL season. However, that does mean 16 less Detroit Lions games. So it's not all bad news. <laughs> <laughs> it's very hard for people in Detroit to take. <laughs> President Obama told the White House conference on bullying Thursday that threats and intimidation are not things that anyone has to accept, unless you're a Democrat. <laughs> Apple says its new iPad 2 is 33% thinner, just like Steve Jobs. <laughs> NPR president Vivian Schiller resigned Wednesday after a hidden camera video showed one of her executives calling the Tea Party racist. Commented Schiller. I was able to carry all of my belongings from my office to my car with a stylish tote bag, which can be yours for a $250 pledge to National Public Radio. <laughs> Julie Taymor stepped down Thursday as director of Broadway's Spider-Man musical. As she stepped down, she rolled her ankle and broke her car. <laughs> <laughs> and now we're hard news meets Hollywood here with the entertainment news from the fighter, Christian Bale. <laughs> set to play Sarah Palin in an HBO movie. To prepare to play Palin, the actress is doing no reading. Huh? Yeah. Ah, ah, what do you think of that joke, huh? What do you think of that fucking joke, man? What do you think of that joke? All right, all right. Uh, uh, responding to a story in the National Enquirer, Bobby Brown told ABC News that his daughter doesn't do drugs and that he would know because he searched her room thoroughly looking for the drugs, huh? Yeah! Yeah! yeah. Have Sugar Ray up here! He can't read jokes like this! Huh? Huh? All right, all right. Uh, uh, Phil Collins announced this week that he's retiring from music, said Collins' his manager. Phil wants another hit record, but for that to happen would be against all odds. <laughs> I guess we won't be seeing, hearing any more Phil Collins songs in the air tonight. <laughs> Phil wants to do one more show, but just for one more night. tragedy when Gallagher survived. <laughs> Two and a half.
Half Men executive producer Chuck Lorre says he's looking at options to replace the fired Charlie Sheen and keep the show running. Added lore. Don't worry, fans of Two and a Half Men. We promise that no matter who we select to replace Charlie Sheen, that the show will not change. It will still not be funny. <laughs> <laughs> Next month's comedy awards will include an award named after Johnny Carson. The award will be a huge honor for 30 years before being destroyed by Jay Leno. <laughs> <laughs> Adidas has designed a new sneaker made for easy removal at the airport. The sneaker is called a sandal. <laughs> rather, named Hawaii as the happiest state in the country. The unhappiest state, whichever one Morrissey is in. <laughs> Mexican agriculture officials euthanized 114 birds at a zoo because of an avian virus. In related news, don't miss the two-for-one special this week at El Pollo Loco. <laughs> Hitler's girlfriend, Ava Braun, dressed in blackface, was recently discovered at Mel Gibson's house. <laughs> <laughs> and now with an in-depth look at one of the week's biggest stories in a segment that's twice as important as AC360, Philip Wilburn and TSW 720. Thank you! Thank you, Matt Chipley. This week, the internet was abuzz with news that Quaker Oats would be discontinuing Captain Crunch cereal. Yeah. Here with the take on the story is <laughs> Captain Crunch! Oh! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> oh, what a great crowd, Philip. They're great! Not my cash raise. <laughs> Cap, are you drunk? <laughs> <laughs> I just had a little bit of Crunchberry wine. <laughs> well, I, I, I guess you're taking the news pretty hard. Pretty hard? <laughs> you know, I mean, this is the only good job I've ever had, right? You know, and how am I gonna find another job in this economy? You know, I've only got a couple of marketable skills, you know? I command a ship crewed by children, <laughs> and I grow this cool-ass mustache. My mustache will go over great in Silver Lake. Fuck those hipsters! <laughs> uh, all they eat is Kashi. 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 <laughs> Kashi. <laughs> Kashi. <laughs> have you ever seen a box of me at a Whole Foods? <laughs> no. No, I never have. Well, well, you know, look at the bright side of me. Being a captain is a marketable skill. <laughs> oh! I said being a captain <laughs> is a marketable skill. I'm not a captain! I'm a captain. <laughs> C-A-P a -P apostrophe N. Captain. What's, what's the difference? Well, the difference is a captain commands a ship. A captain has a goofy mustache and hangs around children all day. It's weird. Uh, I, guess, I guess the future really does look really bleak for you. Yeah, I, I can't even donate my blood. I've got so much sugar in my veins that anybody who uses my blood will get diabetes. <laughs> I'm, I'm the biggest loser since Toucan Sam fouled his nose to an overdose. <laughs> well, hold, hold, hold on just a minute. I'm hearing something in my fake earpiece. Uh, I'm just being told that that was just a rumor. Captain Crunch is not being discontinued by Quaker Oats at all. Really? Yeah, oh just wait, wait, my other fake earpiece is saying, Yes, yes, they're saying they're actually going to bring out some more Cap'n Crunch products. Just a rumor, more products, two fake earpieces. <laughs> Woo! Crunch berry wine on me, Philip. <laughs> ah! So long. Cap'n Crunch, everybody! <laughs> what a soggy drunk bastard. <laughs> and finally, astronomer. James Elliott, who discovered the rings around Uranus, died this week at age 67. Elliott survived by his wife, two daughters, and thousands and thousands of jokes. <laughs> <laughs> Time Story Weekly, I'm Philip Wilburn, and I'm filled with panda blood. <laughs> Good night!